Hello everybody, welcome to part two of my series of Batman Artists figure repaints. Uh, this go round, we're in a different era a little bit from the last go round. It's not the origins of Batman so much. But some of the intermediate guys that meant a lot to me, this figure I got was I'm a huge Kelly Jones Batman fan. And the only figure I ever found that was a Kelly Jones figure was this vampire character they did. They did this vampiric guy and I did a kind of a rough job of redoing his chest there with putty. I completely took his head and changed his head out and took the top of the head with the ears and everything and put that on top on, on top of a mouth that looked appropriately Kelly Jones like. And this guy, you know, he's got the he doesn't have the wings, which you know, I don't need that. But I repainted him head to toe where it was nice and clean. He's gray and black. I think the original vampire figure was really ugly and messy and all that. So I had to really repaint him. He even had to repaint the emblem there. Um, but he does have the at least a turnable head, you know. And he's got those long Kelly Jones Batman ears and big old hands. I love the gnarled hands, you know. Um, and that gnarled... Batman cape, which you can't reproduce with a with a remade cape. You really have to have a plastic cape for that. And this thing, you know, I don't know how many of you have seen this. He's got the post in his back for where the wings went in. He was a vampire in wings. And I just left it alone because for right now, I mean, I could fill the posts. But what would I do with this slug of, bat, of cape? So I haven't really decided how to fill that. But I love this sort of you know, classic horror-looking fabric. It makes me think of the inside of a coffin or something. But it's that Kelly Jones look. You know, if you any of you that collected the Kelly Jones comics, and I know it was in the 90s, you know, would know that this is kind of what he looked like. He was just a big, hulking, you know, I think well, there was another artist named Bisley that kind of looked like his style. And, of course, you had some other guys in that era <clears throat> that had similar styles, but Kelly Jones was just a favorite of mine. Anytime it was a Kelly Jones issue, I loved him. So, this is my nod to Kelly Jones. So, it's a full makeover, full repaint, full head redo, uh, you know, figure <clears throat> from a much older, this is a 20 year old or older figure, but I'm glad to have him. I did respray him recently and touched him up and, and brought him into my more modern uh, style. And I kind of left the what I had done sculpt-wise alone. So he's pretty much, there's my Kelly Jones. Now this guy is a custom because I loved Batman Beyond. I wasn't so much a Terry McGinnis fan. I mean, he was okay. You know, he was a good Batman and all that. And I wanted to get him to have with this video. And I probably will get the McFarlane figure of him but this was a custom I had a there was a, a body some guy I don't know who the character was now but he had a suit and he had the right posture and I thought he, he worked for old Bruce Wayne from Batman Beyond and of course it's the Bruce Tim style with uh, Glenn Murakami I think was his name that, that designed the co-designed and what I did for a head was I found this great Superman the, the like Russian Superman figure when he was like if he had come to America and or not into the world and gone to Russia and he had this mean gaunt face and I said he looks like Bruce Wayne he looks like animated Bruce Wayne so I just put that head on this body and made him a cane and I had a dog figure that I got for Ace and said that'll do I mean you know I painted him up right did the purple collar made him a little cane and this was long before I've ever seen a figure. I think there is a double set out there of old Bruce and, and McGinnis as Batman. But I've, I've been happy with this figure since I made it. So <clears throat> that's my old Bruce, and I just love having old, crotchety Bruce. Next up is my most recent redo. This is the Tim Sale. Um, I'm, I'm kind of considering it for the long Halloween. I know he did another comic series. Um, I did the. I made the cape. This is one of the few times I've ever made a cape, and I really wanted those points and everything to stick out on the floor. You know, he always had this drapey cape, and I, but it has the Tim Sale body and the Tim Sale chest bat, 
and that sort of Tim Sale head, and the ears, I, I shortened ever so slightly and sharpened. I mean, I really didn't shorten them much, and they were all tangled and bent and weirded out, so I had to work on that. I took the head off. I had to actually carve the, the neck. I had to carve that off with a saw because it didn't come off like a lot of these heads do now where the McFarlands kind of account for a, a rubber or a vinyl cape. I had to literally carve the top of this body off, the, the neck, and trim it down inside, put a post in there that the head could slide down on, and then I put my cape on it. And up to now, I've been getting capes made solely by um, Batgirl31, and I hope she will forgive me. I took a stab at another one. I've done, I do one cape maybe every year, two capes a year. And I did the wire myself and did all that. But I wanted it really long and, you know, just just overabundant. I wanted this big, you know, sprawly, pointy cape. Because there's a lot of times when you look at the long Halloween art that, you know, Batman's standing there and, and, and his cape is always big. And he drapes it over his hand a lot. You know, and uh, it could have been blue. I could have gone with blue, but it's hard to make these vinyl capes a different color. Uh, and I couldn't find a blue material that would work. And I said, nah, let's just... He was already pretty much black. If you note, his hands and, sh and boots are a little bit dark blue. And I kind of like that. I like that he's got some color. So I'm okay with that. That's my attempt at a Tim Sale. Uh, it can be Long Halloween or, or any other major Tim Sale Batman. But that's my attempt at that for my collection. He's a little shorter than some of the others. He's a little bit smaller. But he looks so great to me with his body posture and everything. I really like him. I did do something else. I trimmed uh, the joint uh, where you open the arm, raise the arm up, and you can cut away a square there, and his arms can come down closer to the body. It's a very tricky operation. You don't have to remove any body or anything. But if you sort of point the arm up, you can carve a little bit more off of the, the turn piece, and it'll come down a little further to the body. It's just a little trick I, I learned. I don't have a way to show you that, but forgive me for that. But it does work, and if you need me to show one of those, I'll do one sometime soon. The only other figure in this set, I haven't done a lot to it. Um, I repainted his belt. I repainted his face, just the facial part. And I gave him a good bit of my spray. My, it's, uh, I don't show it enough. People always want to know my the spray I use. Right here, Mr. Hobby, super clear very Japanese matte matte finish Japanese brands this stuff will make any toy look fantastic I mean these were shiny plastic toys now look at those like cloth you know they look like cloth on or leather you know they don't like he looks like cloth uh, same thing with this guy he was very shiny almost shimmery the the, the metallics which I like and I didn't even change the colors. I did redo his belt. His belt was kind of lame. It was like a lemon yellow. Very light, very off. I wanted a little more color. And I gave his skin a little more color. And that's it. I just wanted a Jim Lee Batman in here. I'm just being a little selfish. But this is a great figure. And I had to have him in the group. And it, it gives this series, at least I've got two sets of four. So, again, I've got, uh, you know... Four of my favorites in the more modern years. I've got a few more guys to do. There will be a part three. There may be a part four that may be movie guys. But that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing my latest group of hand-painted, remade, reworked, custom comics or animated figures. And enjoy. We'll see you next time.